Hi guys, it's Jimmy McIntyre here. In today's tutorial, we're going to very quickly look at how we can blend multiple exposures in Photoshop to create a nicely balanced interior image. Now, this isn't a substitute for a good lighting setup, it's just a very quick alternative in case you have no other options. This technique is also great with landscape photos and cityscape photos, and I teach this in my premium tutorials, The Art of Cityscape Photography, along with a lot of other advanced digital blending techniques. Now, I've never seen this technique taught before. I've never seen anyone use it before either. So this may be the first time you've seen it, in which case, um, please feel free to share it with a photography friend who you also think would find it useful. Now, this is the image we're working with. So thank you to Dragos Manea for sending me the file. And this is the normally exposed image, although slightly overexposed. And this is the underexposed image. Now, in the overexposed image, we can see the highlights here are, are blown out as we'd expect. And the windows here are blown out and up to the top left here of the wall, um, we need to bring back some of the highlights. And the underexposed image, we have details in all of these areas. So we should be able to bring some of them back or all of them back even. Now, these are our raw files and I'm just going to drag them into Photoshop. Press select all and open images. Now with our images in Photoshop, I just grab the underexposed image using the move tool and I drag it onto the overexposed or normally exposed image and I close this. Now to blend the exposures, all you need to do is double click on the top layer and the layer style dialog will appear. And this is the blend if option and that's why I call this the rapid blend if technique. Underneath that you'll see the slider and I'll move this along and if you move it left you'll see the top layer is visible and the further right you move it the more invisible the top layer becomes. However if you hold down control and alt on a PC or option and command on a Mac and use your left mouse button you could snap this arrow and you can drag this all the way to the right and you can see that the images have merged. So let's press OK. Now, with the rapid blend if technique, the problem is, and it, it is a fantastic technique, and I use it a lot in my images and my digital blending, but they make it makes global changes. And so we're bringing down the highlights here, and we're bringing down the highlights in the whole of the image rather than selectively, which means if we look at the bed, for example, if we make this top layer invisible, we can see that the bed is nice and bright and it has a real energy to it, as do as do the walls here and the ceiling and the floor. But making this visible, the underexposed image visible, we can see it dampens those highlights. And so we have to make some selective changes. To do that, I'm just gonna open up a, a layer mask onto the underexposed layer, and I'm gonna choose my paintbrush, make a bigger, bigger brush, and put it on about 80%. My foreground is set to black or 75%. My foreground set to black. So I just begin to mask out the areas that I don't want to blend. And I'm careful not to go over into the overexposed areas. Okay, that's great. I think that's enough. Now, there's just one more change to make and that's with this window here. It looks to me, although I think I may have gone over it, so I'm gonna just gonna bring back here yeah, some in the window. It looks to me like it's got a blue cast. So I just wanna make this, um, I'm gonna take some of this blue cast away. We can do that through different ways. We can use a color balance layer. We can access um, Adobe Camera Raw using smart objects and bring the, the, the temperature slider to the right. But in this case, I'm just gonna use a simple um, hue and saturation layer and I'm gonna bring the saturation down. Obviously this has affected the whole image. So I'm just gonna create a clipping mask and that makes it only affect the image below. But we don't want it to affect all of the image below because it's made these lamps a little bit colorless really. And I'm just gonna mask it out of most places here. Change the opacity to 100. There, but the window now has lost some of that blue cast. So if we do a before and after, there's the before, I'll zoom in for you. And after, and that looks much better. 
And that's it. That's how you quickly blend exposures for a, a very balanced interior shot. And like I said before, you can use this in landscape photography and cityscape photography too. Um, it's all about the scene that you shoot and the brackets that you have, which, um, which allow you to use this technique. So if you found it useful, please feel free to share it. Um, check out my other courses on, on my blog and my website through strangelenses.com to kind of give your images a, a bit more kick and vibrancy. So thank you very much and I hope you have a great week.